Hundreds of residents showed up to watch over 40 people take a plunge into icy cold waters on Saturday. I was able to take a look myself. Here's, the, here's that story. Hundreds of people are here today at Sandbar Grill to watch over 40 people take a plunge, not just any plunge, but a polar plunge for a great cause. It was unusual warm weather Saturday, but that didn't mean some people were about to freeze. Over 40 people took the icy jump for a good cause. Sandbar Grill was a packed out restaurant as tons of onlookers watched brave ones plunge into cold waters. The ninth annual Alpina Polar Plunge was a huge success collecting over $7,000 for Special Olympics. We have to think outside the box to raise money for Special Olympics and this has been a phenomenal fundraiser for the, for the state. And people are just willing to do crazy things to raise money and see you can be the best money raiser in the best costume. It wasn't all about jumping in ice. It was also about the unique costumes. Daring to take a dive, new Alpena resident Michael Kakura says giving back was a way to say thank you for all of the people who helped him with his move to the area. I mean, I'm really happy about it because we had a lot of help moving up here, so I thought it'd be the least we could do to give back to some other cause. And I met a lot of, you know, the athletes and stuff here, and it was nice to talk to them and meet them and, uh, you know, see what our jumps are going towards. Saturday's lucky winner went to a man not only with Team USA spirit, but also a man who himself has overcome special needs challenges. Well, I did this for Special Olympics just because I was in special my entire life. And, you know, and I know the special department doesn't get a lot of help. And I know this is for a great cause. And it's something that I can give back when I was a kid because I was always in special ed. So it's something that I feel great to doing because it's a great cause as well. There was a moment of silence for former state representative Peter Patelia, who hosted Special Olympics and polar plunges in the past. Patelia died tragically last year. The Lone Lake location was just one of 27 locations this year for the state of Michigan. For WBKB News in Alpena, I'm Star Connor.